guys, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. My name is Raz Dazzle from Art and I'm going to be doing a lot of workshop videos and about art and all that jazz. So in this video we're going to be doing making an art piece together and it's going to represent your emotions and how you're feeling. Don't worry about showing anyone this art piece, you don't have to. If you want to and feel proud of it at the end you can put it up on your wall. But don't feel this is the end process that we're getting to. It's more about how you feel whilst you're making this art piece and the emotions and process you go through rather than the end result of it looking like a certain thing because it's not meant to represent anything. It's meant to be just how you feel and the process. So let's get going. So all I ask for you in this video to do is be free with yourself. No one's going to be judging you on anything how it looks like I say or how you feel whilst you're making this art piece. The first step is to make sure you are in a quiet space though. You want an area that you can feel like you can be at ease and relax with the artwork and you're not going to be interrupted. So once you find a space that you feel comfortable and you're relaxed and you feel like you can be free with yourself, for example I did work outside for my artwork because I felt it was more I always like working outside because I just feel it feels more the energy is lifting and you're one with nature and all that good jazz really. So for me working outside is the best bet but if you can't do this find a space that you feel more comfortable. It might even be like a corner in your room or somewhere that you can relax. You can even put music on if you want to if that helps you feel more free. Just you want to make sure you're not going to be interrupted. The next step is to get some equipment, so different art mediums. So you can use anything for this. I did use paint and you need some marbles as from the title says you are going to be using marbles. As well you can think about using canvas or paper but a tip is make sure you either put the paper into a tray because the marbles you're going to be using you want to make sure they don't fall out of the area onto the floor because you're going to be tilting and tipping it. So you want to make sure it's either got a surrounding area on the canvas or it's in a tray so at least you've got the marbles you can pick them up and put them back on to the canvas if you want to. You'll see further on in this video on what I mean. So next you're going to choose how many marbles that you want to use for this art piece. This depends on how complex you want the art piece to be and in a way how much time you want to spend on it but that doesn't really matter but it's more about it's going to be more detailed if you use a lot more marbles. But the marbles are meant to represent how much different things you have going on in your life. So you could even choose so many marbles by how many different things you've got going on. For example, you have of course your career, your social life, your, uh, I'm trying to think of things, hobbies. I mean, it could be more detail, even going to certain tasks that you've got going on at the moment, that you're trying to get done. It's anything that you want it to represent but the, each marble is unique to one thing that is the thinking behind it all so your next step is to paint your marbles <laughs> it sounds funny because when i think of marbles it goes that quotation is that you've lost your marbles and i suppose it could link with that as well how sometimes when you're all over the place you feel like you have actually lost your marbles so if you've heard that saying or not please say the cork and that i'm not mad so you're going to be painting your marbles. For this I did use black, I just used a paintbrush and literally painted the marbles or you can put them in a cup and swirl it around and it just gets all the surface all with the paint on it. I used black because I thought it will make define the lines because when you're going to be using the marble it will make lines on your canvas or paper for your artwork but you can use any colour like for example if you're using a black background or canvas like you painted it black already you might want to use white because then it stands out again but you can use any colour for this. Be creative and be uniquely you. There is no rules and there is no right or wrong so let's get into this workshop and give it a go. Let go of the marbles on your canvas so they flow around moving the canvas around by tilting it Being able to have some control but not completely. 
due to, as the same as in life, you can't control everything. Take out the marbles from your canvas and it will leave the lines. It might be quite faintly on the canvas but this is completely fine. Start colouring in the areas, the spaces in between the lines that the marbles have made. For example I've used paint for this but you can use pastel or anything you like, any medium. Think about the colours that you're using. There is no right or wrong. Though, for example, I have used green because it feels fresh, like spring. This is when the time of the art that I was making. The colours you choose might change due to the mood that you're in. For example, you might be feeling happy, so you might choose or be drawn to more brighter colours. Or if you're feeling a bit low or down, you might be drawn to more or darker colours but there is no right or wrong like this is a colour journey it's like a represents how you're feeling within and your emotions the same way how you bent into a diary the written diary would be exactly the same as how you would bent into this art piece using what colours you are drawn to and which ones you prefer. I did use a lot of bright colours because I feel my life is at the moment. It is moving very forward and looking into the future. But like I say, there's no right or wrong of what colours you do choose. Take your time in this process, there is no rush whilst painting, relax. Filling all the areas big and small. Like in life, small parts can be as important as the big parts. It makes up the whole picture. Let your artwork dry. I did work outside for mine so it dried very fast. You could even write your feelings within the areas also to add more detail or leave it just as it is. I did feel like this paint water represents all your emotions mixed together and how sometimes you need to step back and be mindful that it's okay to feel a certain way. If you want to, you can paint over the lines from the beginning that the marbles have made. As you can see, I have done this. You can do this at the start or at the end, the same as me. Take time to look at your artwork. You can even hang it up or put it in a journal. You could even do one once a month or two weeks, like a journey diary. And think about the colours and how it represents the emotions you felt whilst making this art piece. Hi my Razzlers, this is a sponsored advert and it is from myself, so Raz does them art. Because I feel if you can't sponsor yourself and put your effort into yourself, then who else will? So what I am talking about in this, ad oh, this little video is about my t-shirts I'm doing, what link to my mindfulness art paintings what I will be selling. I just want to know some feedback on what you think about this idea and stuff what I'm doing as well. So I'm selling ones that look like this. So they link to all my different artworks. So mindfulness paintings, swirly ones. And it's about like free flowing, mindfulness and just going with the flow. It's on front and back. As well, I am doing Positive Jars merch as well. So for Positive Jars, I made a thousand positive different jars and they've all got like different creatures inside of them so they're all in different jars and I think they're just really cute and I've got one with a heart and even a pride little rainbow jar as well or whatever you want it to represent, it doesn't have to be pride but I always think of rainbow's pride of course because that's me. Um, yeah, so these ones 
are my positive jars as well. So I've got a merch of my mindfulness paintings, all swirly back and front, and a positive jar is what I'm um, selling. As well, I do do workshops, so the link is in my bio on tarot card reading, oracle reading, and I am doing a whole course as well on how I can help you focus on one area in your life that you want a tarot reading, oracle reading, and linking it with my art, using that to create a better life, a better develop yourself and feel whole again. Give some advice. Tarot reading is always cards to advise people to go on the right path and take direction. It's not always telling people to do exactly this, exactly that. It's the way I see it is someone like a best friend giving you advice on how to go or what way to go next. Right, see you guys later. Please do say in the comment box on what you felt about this workshop and if you took part. Please do comment on how you felt when you were making your art pieces and if there's any other workshops you think I could do for going forward. And if you did do a video or take a photo, please tag me in any of my social medias. That's Raz Does Them Art. I'm on all social media, so you can find me there. Like, if you want to go follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok as well, I'm on there. So if Instagram is easier to tag people in photos. But feel free, like I say, to tag me in one of your videos and I'll try and find it as well. It's always fabulous to see what you guys make. And I'm always interested to see how you do your own unique style with the art piece as well. And take care and see you soon. Stay magical, my razzlers.